evening students of class 3 students i'm sure all of you are fit and fine in your home students please stay indoor and keep yourself safe students keep on washing your hands frequently with soap and water at least for 20 seconds and keep yourself safe students today i'm going to continue with unit 7 of your english grammar book verbs was were so all of you please take out your english grammar books and turn to page number 31 page number 31 english grammar book unit 7 verbs was were students in my last video i had explained exercise 1 that is fill in the blanks with was and were now today i'll be explaining exercise 2 given on page number 31 so all of you please turn to page number 31 write the date on top exercise 2 fill in the blanks with correct options now before i start this exercise children i hope you all remember that we use was with all singular nouns and pronouns and i and we use were with all plural nouns and pronouns and you so you need to keep this in mind and students was and were they are known as yesterday words why because whatever has happened in the past students we use was in were with the past so now let's start with exercise 2 that is fill in the blanks with correct options all of you i hope you are ready fill in the blanks with correct options okay now the first one is it dash a pleasant trip this is the first one and the two options given are was oblique were now we need to choose one of the verb and fill this blank the sentence says it dash a pleasant trip now as explained that it is what a singular pronoun so which one will be used will be using were or verbs hmm will be using was why was because was is used with all singular nouns and pronouns so it beta jitne bhi singular pronouns hai he she it in sab ke sang hum kya use karenge was so it hai to aap kya use karoge beta was you need to keep this in mind that was is used with all singular nouns and pronoun so it was a pleasant trip so remember that was is used with all singular nouns and pronouns to so, beta it he she will be using was so it was a pleasant trip so we have to use which word was with it will be always using was so it was a pleasant trip with all singular nouns and pronouns children will be using was right first it was a pleasant trip i hope all of you have written it was a pleasant trip now the next one
second. Jantar, Mantar, Dash, A, Famous, Monument. And the options given are is oblique was. Now students, Jantar, Mantar, Dash, a famous monument. Now there are two words uh, given children and the options are is and was. Now, beta is kis ke saath use karenge? Today, is today word hai and was yesterday words hai. Fine, but Jantar, Mantar, Still it exists. Abhi bhi wo hai. Hai na? Present mein hai. So we'll be using is. Jantar Mantra is a famous monument. So Jantar Mantra is a famous monument. Agar monument nahi hota, tab hum was likhte. But Jantar Mantra is there in Delhi. We can go and have a look at it. So hai. So, is liye hum kya likhenge beta? Is. So, Jantar Mantar is a famous monument. Jo hai, uske liye is. Aur jo tha, before, pehle tha, past me. Uske liye was. Hmm? So, Jantar Mantar is a famous monument. We will be using is. Is kiske liye beta? Because Jantar Mantar still exists. It is in New Delhi. And one can go and visit. So, Jantar Mantar is a famous monument. Beta is or was will be using with singular nouns and pronouns but then you need to keep in mind he is present hai and was kya hai? Past hai. So Jantar Mantar to hai. So we will be using is. Jantar Mantar is a famous monument. So we will be using is. I hope all of you have written now the third one. Today, I dash unwell. And the words given are, options are, was, oblique, and. Okay. Now, we have to choose one word. Today, I dash Unwell. Beta, today ki baat ho rhi hai. Aaj, hai na? To hum kya use karenge? I ke saath hamesha kya hai ka beta? M. Today, I am unwell. Fine. Why M? Ye to apne dekha ki present tense me I ke saath M hota. Lekin beta, agar if the sentence was yesterday agar hota. Hai na? Yesterday means the day which is already past. Agar beta sentence hota. Yesterday, I dash unwell. So, we would have written was. Why was? Because yesterday has already passed. But in our sentence it is written today. Hai na? That today I am unwell. So, you remember that M I ke saath hamisha M lagega ka peta? Present. Today words mein I ke saath kya lagega? M. But agar yesterday hota to I ke saath kya lagta? Was. So, you need to keep this in mind. कि अगर present tense है, so we need to use am, but अगर past tense है, तो we need to use was. So don't get confused, I के साथ am भी लगता है, was भी लगता है, but then we have to see the tense, which is written today, so we'll be using am, but अगर yesterday होता, है ना, day before yesterday होता, हुँ? so हम तब क्या लगाते, was, क्योंकि वो तो past हो चुका है, but here, तो to today is, is it present, so we'll be using am. So, please don't get confused. So, today I am unwell. Fine? Today I am unwell. Got it? Today, to hum I ke saath kya lagayenge? M. Fine? I hope all of you have written. Now, I will erase and start with the fourth one.
he dash having tooth ache. Tooth ache means pain in the tooth. That may dart. To take last night. First up, and the options given are was at is. So he dash having to take last night. Now we are talking about he. He ke saath was bhi aa sakta hai, is bhi aa sakta hai. But we are talking about last night, the night which is already past. So with last night, hum kya use karenge beta? Was. He was having to take last night, the night which is already past. Hai na? So he was having to take last night. Night. And you need to look at the word last. Ye last batata hai the night which is already past. Jo isse pehle wali raat thi usko pain hua tha. So don't get confused. He was having to take last night. He was having to take last night. So please don't get confused. So he was having to take last night. Now do you know ki aapko was uh, use karna hai? Because sentence me kya diya hai beta? Last night. Last night means the night which has already passed. So with past tense we will be using was. And he, she, it. In case and is bhi lagta hai, was bhi lagta hai. But is is used with present tense and was is used with the past tense, especially the uh, things which have ha already happened. So don't get confused because last night hai, to aapko dimaag mein rakhna hai ki ago ho, yesterday ho, ye keywords hai, hai na? Yesterday, last night, ago, to ye saare words hai, ye aapko batayenge ki uh, the time has already passed, so we need to use the past tense. Now the fifth one. Again I am repeating the sentence. He was having to take last night. Now the first one. The puppet show Dash awesome Now the options given are was oblique word. Now the sentence is the puppet show. We are talking about one show. So the puppet show dash awesome shows or the Plural hota, but here it is written the puppet show means singular. So what we'll be using? We'll be using was. The puppet show was awesome. The puppet show was awesome. Fine? Because the puppet show, we're talking about one show, singular. So we'll be using was. The puppet show was awesome. Or again, Shows hota beta hai hape. Haan? To hum kya use karte? Was. Fine. Agar the sentence would have been, if the sentence would have been, the puppet shows. Agar puppet show ki jaga shows hota beta, then we would have used was. But here it is written show. So we have used was. So remember, plurals agar shows hota, to hum was use karte. But since show, this is singular, so we'll be using was. The puppet show was awesome. Or beta agar plural hota, the puppet shows. Huh? To hum likte, the puppet shows were awesome. So don't get confused. Hmm? Singular hai, so you need to use was. And agar plural hota beta, to aap kya use karte? Were. So the sentence will be, the puppet show was awesome. Fine? 
Now the sixth one. The six sentences. Why dash you making a noise? Now the options given are is or are for this sentence. Then the next sentence is the teacher dash watching you. The options given are was, public, is, then. Even yesterday you dash disturbing the class. And the options are, are, oblique, were. Now for each sentence, children, there are options given. The first sentence is, why dash you making a noise? Now you need to remember the rules for is and are. Beta, hamesha, you ke sang hum kabhi nahi bolte. You is a naughty boy. You is a naughty girl. Hum nahi bolte na. Hum hamesha you ke sang kya use karte hai? Are. So, if the sentence has got you, then we'll be using are. So, why are you making a noise? Always remember, with you, we use are. So, don't get confused. Hamesha, you ke saad beta, are hi So, why are you making a noise? Fine, with you, because the sentence has got you, so we'll be using the word are. So, why are you making a noise? Noise. This is the first part of the sentence. Now, the second one. The teacher dash watching you. A beta, the teacher is or was doing it. Now, this sentence we have used kiya. That means, ki pleasant me. Teacher, you are making the noise. Or, yaha pe present me chal raha hai. So, yaha pe the teacher is watching you. The teacher is. We are talking about one teacher. So, the teacher is watching you. Now, the third part of the sentence, even yesterday. Now, look at the word yesterday. You need to keep this in mind. That even yesterday, you dash disturbing the class. Of yesterday. Yesterday means the day which has passed. So, yesterday ke liye hum kaun se words use karte? Was or were. Fine. Ab yaha pe is sentence mein you hai. To you ke sang hum kya use karenge beta? Was. Fine. So, even yesterday you were disturbing the class. Fine. So, don't get confused. Kaha aapko is use karna hai? Kaha aapko are use karna hai? Kaha aapko were use karna hai? Now, why are you? Making a noise. Is to kabhi lagta nahi uke saath to will be using are. Why are you making a noise? The second part of the sentence is the teacher is watching you. Means you are, make, you are making the noise and the teacher is watching you. Even yesterday. Ab agar yesterday aya hai beta. To hume was or were karna hai. But the sentence has got you. To hum kya use karenge? Were. Fine. So, even yesterday, you were making, sorry, even yesterday, you were disturbing the class. Even yesterday, you were disturbing the class. I hope this is clear to you. Now, the seventh one. Now, 
सेवन रीना आर्ट आई डैश गुड फ्रेंड रीना आर आई डैश गुड फ्रेंड आर द वर्ड्स गिवन आर एम ऑब्लिक आर बेटा टिल नाउ टू बी इट लर्न की विद आई वी यूज एम बट विद सिंगुलर आई यर रीना एंड आई बेटा वी टॉकिंग अबाउट टू पर्सन तो हम क्या यूज करेंगे आर अगर सिर्फ आई होता है ना तब बट आई एम गुड फ्रेंड आई खुद का तो गुड फ्रेंड होता नहीं वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द सेंटेंस ऑल्सो रीना एंड आई वी टॉकिंग अबाउट टू पीपल सो क्या हो जाएगा बेटा आर रीना एंड आई आर गुड फ्रेंड रीना एंड आई आर गुड फ्रेंड सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू Now the eighth one. We dash celebrating Holy. in our colony and the options given are was oblique verb we beta look at the word we plural pronoun more than one so we dash celebrating holy in our colony तो प्लूरल के संग हम क्या यूज करेंगे वर्ड वी वर सेलिब्रेटिंग होली इन आर कॉलेज सो विथ प्लूरल वील बी यूजिंग वर्ड राइट फास्ट नाउ दी नाइन्थ वन एंड दी नाइन्थ वन इज डैश यू wasting water and the options given are was oblique verb so the sentence is got you find dash you wasting water and at the end it's a question mark so this is a question so यू के संग हम क्या यूज करेंगे बेटा वर्ड सो वर्ड डब्ल्यू कैपिटल बिकॉज विल बी स्टार्टिंग अंटेंस दिस इज एन इंट्रोगेटिव सेंटेंस क्वेश्चन मार्क एट दी एंड सो वर यू वेस्टिंग वॉटर फाइन वर यू वेस्टिंग वॉटर डन एंड रिमेम्बर वेन यू बिगिन अ सेंटेंस ऑलवेज बिगिन विथ अ कैपिटल लेटर कहीं भी यू है वॉज वर्ड है तो रिमेम्बर यू के संग क्या यूज करना है हमको वर्ड Now the tenth one. No. All of the kids dash throwing. बेटा पेटल्स जानते हैं ना जो फूल की पंखड़िया होती है उनको पेटल्स बोलते हैं एंड नेचुरल कलर्स एट ईच आदर 
and the options are was, oblique, were. Fine? No. All of the kids. Now look at the word kids, plural. Dash throwing flower petals and natural colors at each other. And the options given are was or were. So, beta kids plural hai. Kids plural hai. So, hum kya use karenge? No, all of the kids were. Agar beta kid ki jaga, kids ki jaga kid hota. In, in place of kid, if kid was there, then hum kya use karte? Was. But because kids are plural hai, so we'll be using were. The sentence will be, no, all of the kids were throwing flowers, petals and natural colors at each other. Done. Now the 11th one. Children, there is a printing mistake. Please make the S of sun capital. S of sun will always be capital. The sun dash shining And the fog dash disappearing. And the options given are was oblique word. Now, children, the sun is one singular. So, this sentence will be the sun was shining and the fog was. Fog is also singular and the fog was disappearing. The sun was shining and the fog was disappearing. Better dono plants may will be using was because dono plural hai. The sun, the uh, sorry, dono singular hai. Sun is also singular and the fog is also singular. Sun bhi hai and fog ko bhi hum single unit maan ke chalenge. Hana? The sun was shining and the fog was disappearing. Fine, both are singular. So we will be using was. Now the last one, the twelfth one. And the twelfth sentence is Dash the train on time question mark is oblique R. Now, dash the train on time, we are talking about the train, one train, singular noun. So, is, is the train on time. And remember, we are beginning a sentence. So, we will be beginning with a capital letter. So, I of is will be capital. Is the train on time? Fine. We are talking about the present. So, we are using is. Fine. So, is the train on time? So, children, exercise 2 is finished. Now, let's do the fun time activity. I hope all of you are ready for this activity, children. The fun time activity. Now, it says, find the words hidden Find the words hidden in these words with the help of clues. Now children, the first one is often and the clue given is a number. Fine. 
a beta, a spelling di hai aur ek clue diya. And we have to find the hidden word. Is spelling mein se humko ek word hidden matlab which is hiding. Is spelling mein ek word chupa hua hai. Aur wo word ki kya hai ek number hai. So is spelling mein kaun sa word chupa hua hai beta? T and 10. So we'll be writing 10. The first one has already been done for you. Now children, the second word is spring. The second word is spring. And then the clue given is an ornament. Ornament we just have jumped in. Na? Jo mummy jewelry panty hai, earring, ring, bangles, necklace. Un sab ko kya bolte hai? Ornaments. Ab isme spelling mein ek ornament chupa hai. And what is that word? Ring. We wear ring in the finger, isn't it? So, the answer is ring. Girl likes to wear ring in their hands, fingers, isn't it? Girl likes to wear ring in the finger. So, the word hidden in this word is ring. Now, the third word is grass. And the clue given to us is an animal. And name of an animal is hidden in this word. Let's find out now which animal is there? S. A double S. S. Donkey. So S we bolte hai. The word is S. A double S. S. So the word hidden in this is S. Now the fourth one. The word is Honest. And the clue given is a bird's home. A bird's home. Fine. So, a beta is made bird's home. This is nest. We call the bird's home a nest. So, the answer is nest. Got it? The answer is nest. I hope all of you have done this. Often, we need to find the number 10. Spring, we need to find the ornament. Rain, grass, we need to find an animal as. Honest, a bird's home. Next. Fine, all of you have done. Now, the fifth one. Shop. The word is shop and the clue given is to jump. Beta, jump karne ko kya bolte hai? Hmm? Hop. H O P hop. So, the word hidden is hop. Shop mein hi word hai hop. Now the sixth one. Elephant. Elephant is the word and the clue given is a small insect. I hope all of you know a small insect. Name of a small insect hidden in the spelling of elephant. So the insect is ant. The biggest animal and the smallest insect. What a coincidence, isn't it? So a name of the small insect hidden in the name of elephant is ant. Then the seventh one is garden. And the clue given is a lion's home. Where does the lion live, children? Lion lives in a den. So the name is den. Lion's home is den. Then children, the last word is appear. A double P E A R appear. And the clue given is a fruit. We need to find the name of a fruit from the word appear. And the word is pear. P E A R pear. So the word is pair. I hope you all have done this. So children, that's all for today. We have finished unit 7. 
verbs use of was and were children please revise this exercise that's all for today thank you students have a good day